Welcome back to our channel, soccer fans. We have an exciting story to share with you today as we dive into the remarkable journey of one of the greatest soccer players of all time, Lionel Messi. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our community of passionate football enthusiasts. Now let's get started. It all began in late January 2018 when David Beckham and his partners were awarded the 25th franchise of Major League Soccer, known as Inter Miami. The soccer legend himself shared a video message from another icon, Lionel Messi, on his Instagram account. Who knows, maybe in a few years you will give me a call, Messi concluded after congratulating Beckham on the new project. Little did they know that this friendly invitation would eventually turn into a reality. Fast forward six years later, and Messi made the stunning announcement that he would be signing for Inter Miami, despite lucrative offers from Saudi Arabia and even his beloved Barcelona. However, this groundbreaking transfer didn't come without a substantial investment. Miami and MLS pulled out all the stops to secure the Argentine superstar, offering him a share in MLS and Apple's broadcast partnership. Even long-standing sponsors like Adidas joined in to bring Messi to Miami. Undoubtedly, he will become the highest paid player in the history of MLS. Tevez, a former Argentina teammate with Messi, has now explained the 35-year-old's decision to join Inter Miami. According to him, Messi was only willing to join Barcelona if he were to stay in Europe, adding that he decided not to return to the La Liga champions because he didn't want to be a bad guy again at Camp Nou. No one was hurt more than Leo that he could not return to Barcelona. He made a decision knowing and understanding his own situation a bit, Tevez told ESPN. He didn't want to return to Barcelona and have his teammates be sold, or their salaries cut down, to be a bad guy in the movie again. I think it was all very lukewarm on the part of Barcelona. Leo leaned towards the United States League. He likes Miami. It's a peace of mind for him and his family. I think what he did was the correct thing. If it wasn't Barcelona, he didn't want anything in Europe. The decision is very well taken. The journey to bring Messi to Miami was rife with drama and uncertainty. Over the past six years, Miami's ownership never wavered in their pursuit of the superstar. Co-owner Jorge Mas expressed their commitment to making it happen, not only for Miami, but for the entire league. Other clubs, including Paris Saint-Germain and Barcelona, were also vying for Messi's signature. A significant threat came from Saudi Arabian side Al-Hilal, who reportedly offered an astronomical $400 million per year. However, Messi ultimately chose MLS as his next destination. Messi's arrival in the United States follows a long line of transformative footballers who have left an indelible mark on American soccer. From Pele in the 1970s to Beckham in the 2000s, these global icons propelled the sport's growth and popularity in the country. Pele, the Brazilian legend, joined the New York Cosmos in 1975, backed by the corporate might of Warner Communications. His presence alone caused a surge in attendance, attracting other football greats to the North American Soccer League, NASL. While Pele couldn't save the NASL from collapsing, his impact on the sport was generational, inspiring the first great generation of American soccer players. When Beckham arrived in MLS in 2007, the league was better equipped to harness his star power. The growth of MLS since then has been phenomenal, with 29 teams and another on the way. Beckham's influence played a significant role in raising the global awareness and legitimacy of MLS, boosting attendance, merchandise sales, and international exposure. Now, with Messi joining Inter Miami, MLS is poised to experience a similar impact. His status as the greatest player in the history of the game will undoubtedly draw massive crowds to every stadium. MLS clubs may have to consider larger venues or raise ticket prices to meet the overwhelming demand. Beyond the field, Messi's arrival promises to reshape Inter Miami's brand and MLS as a whole. If we look at the numbers from PSG during Messi's time in Paris, we can expect Inter Miami to become one of the most popular sports brands in the United States. Sponsorship deals, merchandise sales, and social media following are likely to skyrocket, creating a marketing frenzy around the Argentine superstar. As North America prepares to host the 2026 World Cup, Messi's presence will attract even more sponsorship dollars and he may even follow in Beckham's footsteps by owning an MLS club in the future. The opportunities are endless as the game continues to grow and thrive in the United States. And there you have it, folks. The story of Lionel Messi's groundbreaking move to Inter Miami. This is undoubtedly a game-changer for MLS, 